YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at all three Team Tank Coat Piston Cup racers from the Cars franchise. Eugene Karbareski, Reb Meeker, and Rich Mixon. Now before I get right into the review, let me, let me discuss something. So, <clears throat> throughout the years of the Piston Cup, there had been an evolution of Team Tank Coat Racers that shared the traditional number, 36, and the traditional exterior color, pink, and some, and some racers bear the interior colors of white. So now, without any further ado, let's start with the reviewing each tank coat racer. Up first is Eugene Karbareski, who I recorded and reviewed yesterday. So, <clears throat> Eugene Karbareski is a Husker Morocco Piston Cup racer who fell into the sport by accident, but had already made his mark. He would then go on to participate in the 2005 Danico 400 of the 2005 Piston Cup season at the Motor Speedway of the South, which he was one of the racers to get involved in the multi-car wreck caused by Chick Hicks, although in some shots he was seen dodging the wreck and getting into the wreck, which was considered an error. And during his diecast releases, he was released as singles, one with rubber tires as a Kmart exclusive, and as a normal well, single with plastic tires in the 2017 Piston Cup series. And it was also released in a launcher and in the 2015 .com Piston Cup pack. So now without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So here we've got his angry, determined facial expression, his black grill, his headlight stickers with the number 36 in pink on one of them, and the white bumper and white front end. And on the hood we've got the Tank Coat logo which says Tank Coat and the slogan Soothes Upset Tanks and the pink exterior paintwork. And on both sides, we've got the pink rims on the black wall light year racing tires and the exhaust pipes and the number 36 and the tank coat logo and the gas cap and the several contingency logo saying Piston Cup, Nitrate, Revolting, Octane Gain, Mood Springs, Vitally, No Stall, Gaskets, Gasprin, Easy Idle, RPM, Little Torque Pistons, Leakless and Clutch Shade. And on the top, we've got the number 36 and the. And on the back, we've got the tank coat logo. We got, and on the back we got the white ducktail spoiler and the, the tank code logo in the middle, the headlight stickers and the pink number 36 on one of them, and the white bumper. And on the undercarriage we have Disney slash Pixar made in China, Mattel logo. And that is it. Up next is Reb Meeker from Cars 3, who is a Brody Motor Co. Spark EA Piston Cup racer, similar to Bobby Swift, who had replaced Eugene Karbareski sometime between 2006 and 2015, and would go on to participate in the Danico Light 350 at the, of the 2016 Piston Cup season at the Motor Speedway at the South. And when Next Gen Racer started dominating the circuit, he was still able to keep racing until the Los Angeles 500 at the Los Angeles International Speedway of 2016. And during his diecast releases, he has been released as a sing singles in, in a, and in multi-packs and a, a two-pack with Bobby Swift, which Reb was mistaken for Eugene Karbreski. So now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we've got his happy facial expression, his working headlights and no grill, and on the hood we've got the Tank Coat logo which says Tank Coat soothes upset tanks, 
And on both sides, we've got the gray rims on the black wall light year racing tires and the number 36 and a few contingency logos saying Pista Cup, Revolting, RPM, Nitrate, Octane Gaining, Clutch Aid, Light Year logo on the front fenders, and the tank coat logo, and the gas cap. And on the top, we've got the number 36, no name signature. And on the back, we've got, and on the trunk, we've got the tank coat logo. And on the back, we've got the tank coat logo in the middle, and the camera, and the working red taillights. And, the, and on the back bumper, we have the slogan, Soothes Upset, upset Tanks 36. And on the right side, we've got the exhaust pipe. And on the undercarriage, we have Mattel, made in China, Disney slash Pixar. And that is it. And last but definitely not least is Rich Mixon, who is a next-gen Pissing Cup racer that replaced Reb Meeker in 2017 before the Florida 500 at the Florida International Speedway, which he was one of the racers to participate in the Florida 500 of the 2017 Piston Cup season at Florida International Speedway. And he looked, and he resembles Tim Treadless. And during his diecast releases, he was released as singles and in, in multi-packs. And was named after one of the previous presidents of the United States, Richard Mixon. So now without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So here we've got his grumpy facial expression, his pink exterior paintwork, and his working headlights, no grill. And on the hook, we've got the tank coat, a new next-gen tank coat logo, which says TC, which are the initials of tank coat. And it says tank coat right here. And on the top, we've got the number 36, no name signature. And on both sides, we've got the exhaust pipes and the pink rims on the black next-gen light year racing tires. And a few contingency logos saying piston cup. Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy. And a number 36, and the letters TC. And on the spoiler, we've got the tank coat logo. And on the back, we've got the yellow rookie stripes, indicating that he's a rookie. And a number 36, TC in the middle, tank coat logo, and the red working tail lights. And on the undercarriage, it says Disney slash Pixar, made in Vietnam, and Mattel. And that is it. So here I've got all three Team Tank Coat racers from, from the Cars franchise. So what do you guys think? Which Team Tank Coat racer is your favorite? Is it Eugene Karbreski, Reb Meeker from Cars 3, or Rich Mixon from Cars 3? Let me know what you think, as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!